Hi guys, thank you for tuning in to my video. I got lots of questions and DMs asking me how I upload videos to Instagram, so I wanted to do a tutorial for you guys and show you my step-by-step -step process so you can go from this to this. The first thing you guys need to do is get the gameplay footage from your PlayStation to your computer for editing and you can do this one of two ways. The first way is to use the built-in game capture that already comes with your PlayStation. One really cool feature of the PlayStation 4 is that it automatically records the last 15 minutes of whatever has been on your screen and you can save this to your hard drive. All you have to do is click the share button and then you can either save a screenshot or a video clip by pressing square. Then find the capture gallery from your home screen. There it is. Everything is organized really well by game. So let's pick on Fortnite. And then from here, you can choose your video clips. You select the one that you want. You hit the options button and then you can copy to a USB storage device and export it to your computer. By default, the PlayStation records for 15 minutes, but if you need more or less, you can adjust this. Simply go to your settings, scroll down to sharing and broadcasts, and then video clip settings, length of video, and you can change it from anywhere from 30 seconds all the way to 60 minutes. The second way to do this, and the way I prefer, is using a game capture device. I use the Elgato HD60 to capture my gameplay. I prefer the Elgato because I like streaming a lot and I like recording all my gameplay to get the sick shots for you guys. You can buy it brand new in a bunch of stores. I bought mine on eBay. As you can see, there are a ton of options selling. I've never had any issues with mine, so just make sure you buy it from a good seller. And then you need to go to Elgato's website and download their game capture software. So here's what it looks like when it's open. It's pretty easy to use. You can record your gameplay. It'll keep recording as long as you have space on your computer. I like to start at the beginning of the match and then I stop recording at the end of the match. It saves the videos over here. So you can have all your saved videos. I like to title them so that I know my kills, I know if it's a win and so on. After choosing a video clip you want to upload to Instagram, you need to do some editing. I prefer iMovie, but use whatever program you have you guys have access to and are comfortable with. If you're using Game Capture HD, you click on the video clip that's saved in your library, you reveal it in Finder, it brings up the folder. Here's the video. It's called Segment, it's an MP4 format. If you guys are using the PlayStation recording method, after you export the video onto a USB drive, just plug the drive in and import the video into your video editing program. Once you guys have cut the video, done any edits you need to, you need to export the video. So I clicked on the video, you click File, Share, File. Um, Instagram downgrades your video, so I export in 720p 60 frames. For YouTube, I do 1080. I do the best quality, better quality. But again, for Instagram, 720p is plenty, better quality. Click Next, Save to Desktop. Let's call it Dusty Snipe. Enter to save. After the video is exported, I drop the window. Here is the clip. Um, I use a Mac and I have an iPhone, so this next step is super easy getting it to my iPhone. I just click on this. I go down to share, airdrop. It finds my phone. There it is. I click on it and it sends it straight into my camera roll on my iPhone. From there, I upload to Instagram. If you don't have airdrop, no worries. Just email the clip to yourself. There you have it. It's that simple. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you found it useful, please give me a thumbs up. In the comments section, leave your feedback and let me know what other videos you guys want to see. Thank you for tuning in. See you guys next time.